All right, Evan Neal, the seventh overall selection by the Giants, had a, I would say, up and down first game in an NFL uniform. There was some good, there was some bad. Let's start off with the bad and then talk some good. So it's going to be this play. And in fact, this is something that I, this was an issue I saw in college, quite frankly. So it's not something that you should be overly concerned about. But I think that, you know, even the diehard Evan Neal fans would acknowledge there was uh, just, just a bit of kind of, I guess I would say, a bit of polishing that needs to be made on Evan Neal and it's stuff like this where you see where he is on the screen the plays already started nothing really is interesting has happened at this point I like the angle better well with this one though but this is as early as they showed it look at how right when this play begins you're gonna see look at how look at that left hand and how he's grabbing Neal's jersey right there this is not a penalty that you know this is not gonna get called or anything like that this is what you call a pull move where the edge rusher is gonna just basically pull Neal and it's kind of one of those things where despite Neal being so massive He's almost skinny, just in the sense of like how he's built. It's just kind of one of those weird things because he is so tall. Guys are going to use that, you know, usual advantage to his disadvantage if they can. People in the NFL are smart. You don't get here by being stupid. And that's what a lot of guys are doing. And first preseason game, they are trying him like that. Watch, as you see, Jennings really just knocks him to the ground. And, you know, one of the, my complaints I had with Evan Neal which was a weird complaint that I don't have with many people in college is that he fell down a lot and he fell down a couple of times in this preseason game I suspect he will fall down more like something like this is another example of it where it's basically going to be the exact same thing you see where he is on the field and watch what happens look this time in the running game but again uh, Evan Neal fell to the ground you can't block anyone if you're on the grass now I'm not showing these plays to say oh look Evan Neal sucks. Evan Neal's, you know, a bust. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. We knew he had some polishing he has to do. I was a huge fan of Andrew Thomas and didn't expect him to be great his rookie year either, right? This stuff takes some time. You're going to, you know, it might not be, might be an Andrew Thomas type situation where he doesn't have a great first year, but, uh, you know, has a great second year. Too early to tell that after just a preseason uh, game. But just, you know, this is a negative I saw, and this is something that I think in practice they're going to just work on. This is just something you have to work on. That's all it is that's why you get these reps so you can go back and say okay these are the fixes these are things that we have to fix anyways let's move on to some positives now so we'll start off with this one what's going to happen here is that uh you know I thought this was a good play uh what's going to happen is you see where he is on the field it's a pass protection play and watch what happens look as you see Neil is going to do a good job of just holding his own Jennings tries that move and it does not quite work because Neil has that length he was able to do a very good job at just not allowing him to you know uh get around him the way that you might be able to against a shorter tackle so that's the flip side right yes the height can kind of get him you know higher center of gravity that's a negative but the positive is going to be a play like that one where the reach can come in handy as well it works both ways you also have a play like this where what's going to happen on this one is it's going to end up being a stunt so basically you know patriots love to do this you have your edge rusher and defensive tackle essentially they're just going to cross each other's paths this can create some you know disruption especially against a rookie tackle right when this play begins you see how okay neil you know i think that you know very smartly i think the giants all together prepared for this very well they did not get fooled they were in position it was a fine stunt but I thought that they did a good job at preparing for it so nicely done from this point on you see how Neil is able to hold his own and be able to you know finish off that block so again uh these are good plays and these are what you like to see this play was maybe his biggest highlight, I thought, where you're, it's going to be a double team, so that's what's going to happen, but this is the stuff that gets you excited about Evan Neal. This is what he can be at his best, where, you know, it's going to just be a double team and watch what happens. I mean, watch him just completely move that defensive tackle very far away, with some help, of course. You know, he was finishing off a double team, sure, all that good stuff, but he certainly did his part, so... This is the stuff that, you know, talk about his freakish athleticism. This is what he can do, and this is what you hope for. And, you know, at the very least, I've always kind of maintained, if you don't love some of the bad stuff, he's going to make an awesome guard. And that's why he's still my tackle number three. All the negatives I saw about him, uh, you know, to me, yes, there are negatives in this thing, but I saw that going in. I'm not concerned about it. Like, watch, here was one more negative. Uh, I feel like I'm talking a lot about the negatives, but there were some negatives. I mean, that's, I'm telling you what I saw, uh, you know, agree or disagree with it, however you uh, see fit. What's going to happen on this play, it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one block and watch what happens. Right off the bat, the defensive tackle moves further towards the top of the screen, and I feel like Evan Neal kind of overcommits a little bit. Again, you have these long arms. Use them to your advantage, and these are just the things he's going to have to learn, and he's going to have to get more reps 
you know, to learn, which, you know, uh, I think that he hopefully will. I think that this is why, you know, preseason is good for rookies. You can learn this kind of stuff. Because then when that player cuts back, uh, he's able to get through. And while he doesn't actually tackle, uh, Daniel Jones easily could have and certainly played a role in that sack. So, you know, these are just the things for Evan Neal. Got to learn. Got to figure this stuff out. I'm sure the coaching staff notices all the negatives. And there's still the positives. So, quite frankly, this is kind of what you hope to see happen in a situation like this in the preseason. The negatives are going to be there. But you'd rather them show up now than in this regular season. And there certainly were still positives. So yeah, I mean, as a whole, a, you know, an up and down day for Evan Neal. But again, the goal here, and this is kind of where, you know, these preseason videos, everything has to be mentioned. Uh, You know, what has to be mentioned especially is the goal here is not to look like a superstar. It'd be awesome if you did, right? That's cool. Those are fun. And we like when these guys look like superstars. But the main goal in the mission for Evan Neal is to just show up and play solid and to learn. That's the main thing, to learn. That's what you want to see. You hopefully don't embarrass yourself, which I don't think he embarrassed himself. He had some missteps, but I don't think he embarrassed himself. Uh, And he, you know, uh, he figured out what he has to improve upon. That's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. So, again, I always feel about these preseason videos. If you have no idea who the player is, you're not going to learn much from him. But if you, you know, if you watch my video about Evan Neal right when he got drafted and kind of now have an idea of what I thought of him, you're going to now realize why I'm saying what I'm saying and why I sort of say, yeah, these are the issues. These are the issues I saw in college. And typically the way you get better at this is just it takes time. It takes reps. So you have to figure the stuff out. Uh, you know, it's one thing to in practice say, okay, this might be something you have to get better at. Entire different ball game to actually get better at it and to actually find the ways to improve. So, you know, as a whole, I, I would say that this was a I guess, I I don't know, it's kind of weird. I don't know how I would evaluate this game. I I think he met expectations. I don't think he exceeded expectations. I don't think he did below expectations. I think he met expectations. We know he's a bit more of a project tackle than maybe the other two of the big three that came out, but he also has the highest upside. So, and, uh, you know, uh, I guess the the highest height as well. So those two things together, a lot of tallness when it comes to Evan Neal. Um, But yeah, that's my thought about Evan Neal and how he played. What do you guys think? What were your thoughts on Evan Neal? Do you agree with me that there are some some polishing he needs to do? Or do you think I'm being too hard? Do you think that these mistakes are just good moves and, you know, sometimes you get beat is what it is? Let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on all of that stuff. Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.